We're just outside of Kennard in the Northern Cape where the electricity minister just uh, unveiled, uh, of course, the biggest uh, solar and battery storage uh, facility in, in the world. Of course, uh, 500, more than 500 megawatts of solar power and storage is more than 1,000 megawatts. That's about a stage of load shedding uh, that this power plant can create. Uh, but let's talk to the Premier of the Northern Cape, Dr. Zamani Sol, about what this plant plant means for, for the people in the Northern Cape in terms of energy, in terms of jobs, etc. This is a major investment in the Northern Cape and I'm certain you know the plant cost close to 19 billion rands. And we welcome such kinds of investment because as we have always articulated that the Northern Cape we are the capital of renewables. Uh, we account for almost 65% of all renewable projects in the country. By now, close to 80 billion rand has been invested in the Northern Cape in renewable energies. This comes with job creation opportunities. During the construction phase of this project, about 2,000 people were employed here. It's commissioned now. There's lesser people that will be employed, but with much more quality job opportunities, which is permanent employment. As I was engaging now with the owners of the plant, they said there will be about 80 people that will be permanently employed, subjected to proper training who will be responsible for the maintenance of the plant. So we welcome such investments and taking into cognizance the major electricity shortage challenges that we have in the country. And I firmly believe, and as I have raised it on several occasions, that the Northern Cape is the solution to the power supply challenges that the country is confronted with. So the Northern Cape, like you said, perfect for renewable energy. We've got sun, we've got wind big open spaces. The yes. problem is the transmission and the grid. Yes. Um, how far are you in talks with ESCOM and the electricity minister in to, in to, to solve that? We've raised the issue uh, on several occasions and we intensified our engagements around that. The Minister of Electricity is here. We also had engagements with the President around that. We need about 700 kilometers of grid network in the Northern Cape. In the country, we need about 3,000 kilometers, but 700 kilometers of grid network is in. It's here in the 700 kilometers of grid network is in the Northern Cape, and with our engagements, and I like the attitude of the minister that we don't, we won't be able to have money to build that grid network out of the fiscal. So we'll have to look for alternative sources of funding, rope in private sector in order to ensure that we put that grid network. If we don't do that. It really set back uh, our, our efforts here to ensure that the Northern Cape is the capital for renewable in the country. Uh, Premier, so a lot of these renewable energy projects that you're talking about, it's all over the province, yeah. but you get communities uh, adjacent to, to these projects yeah. that complain time and time and again that they're not fully benefiting yeah. from, from these multi-billion yeah. contracts in terms of CSI projects, etc. And how are you in talks with, with these companies to, 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 to say to them, listen, you've got our space, you've, we we a yeah. good business partner for you, but you need to invest in people? It's not only with this, uh, with renewable energies. We are also sitting with the same problem with square kilometer array. You are sitting with the same problem with salt, and you are sitting with the same problem with mining houses. And uh, I think there should be some kind of conscience that we should start to build to in investors that they are host communities. And as soon as we make an announcement of an investment, that creates a whole host of expectations from the communities. So we hope that a different attitude will be adopted in order to ensure that there is something that these big investors do in the province in order to try and address the socioeconomic needs of the people of the Northern Cape. We are sitting with massive socio-economic challenges and that's not something that government are, alone can address. That's the reason why our emphasis over the past five years was to ensure that we strengthen our social compacting, getting uh, big businesses involved in our initiatives to ensure that we improve uh, the quality of lives of the people of the province.